So Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is similar to a lot of pieces of music in that there is repetition. So the tune that happens at the beginning happens again at the end. And in the middle, there's one short piece of tune that repeats twice. So our section C actually happens twice in a row in the middle of the song. So we're going to copy some of the sections that we've already recorded to make the whole tune. So if you go to the plus sign at the end of your ruler and select section C, make sure it's C that you've got highlighted and then come down to the bottom of that menu and you'll see duplicate. So tap on duplicate and section D should appear and section D will be an exact copy of section C. So those two sections make up the bit of the song that goes up above the world so high and then like a diamond in the sky. So it's the same tune repeated twice. And then it goes back to the opening again, the twinkle, twinkle. So that's our section A. So select section A and then we're going to duplicate that one. So make sure it's A that you've got selected and tap duplicate. And section E will appear and that's a copy of section A. So that's our twinkle, twinkle, little star. And then section B is how I wonder what you are. So we need to copy section B to finish off. So select section B and tap duplicate. And that will give you section F on the end. So you should now have A, B, C, D, E and F. All two bars, okay? So once you've done that, if you select all sections and tap to exit that menu. Your ruler will now start at number one and it will finish along here. You've got 11 and 12 in section F, okay? Now, at this point, I would suggest that you tap return and just listen to the whole thing and check that your tune is correct and that your duplicating has worked. If you find that any of your sections aren't quite in the right order, you can tap the plus sign and you can edit and just remove those sections at the end and do the duplicating again, okay? So you can remove them just by tapping there and deleting, okay? But it should be fine as long as you have done those instructions in order. So once you've listened through to your tune and it's sounding good, the last thing to add is the drums. So we're going to go up to the instrument browser in the top left. And this time we're going to scroll along until we find drummer. And once you've got to that window, you're going to choose acoustic down there on the left. Okay, and just by tapping that and opening this window here, that automatically adds drums to your piece right the way through. So you can now go back to your tracks view, the bricks in the top left, and you can see that you've got all these green sections that you've recorded, and then you've now also got this yellow drumming track along the bottom. So at this stage, you could have a listen and you could see if you think the balance is right or if we need a bit more or less of any of the individual tracks. So the drums are quite loud, so I'm going to turn my drums down. Have a listen and you choose the levels that you think are nicely balanced. I would recommend taking the drums down to about halfway. You want your melody track, which is the most important track, on full, and then you decide um, exactly how much bass and chord track you want to hear. Okay? And that's your track basically complete, so well done.